Step one, charge up the battery. So the phone's just about fully charged. It's at 90%. So the goal now is to use it as much as possible, going on Facebook, streaming videos for the next 45 minutes, and we're gonna see how much the phone's battery drains in that time before we do the update. Streaming video is a great way to do that. So I FaceTime with our Nick Blackhall, who works on our digital team. While we drain the juice, he explained how much attention this issue is getting online. Uh, currently over 1,100 shares, 500 comments. It's, it's kind of a big deal with the community right now. Many of you have tried the update Perfect. and many Thank have you. reported some issues with the phone afterwards, specifically battery one. All right, so it's been 45 minutes of nothing but phone use. My battery's down to 53%. The plan now is to update the iOS try this whole thing again and see if updating the operating system really does have an impact on battery life. Here we go again, 45 more minutes. This time we're running 1102. That's the newest update for the iPhone. It took about 25 minutes to download and install the new iOS. After that, it was right back to streaming video. So here are the results, and it's actually kind of surprising, at least for me, my phone did better with the new operating system. I went down from a drain of 90% to 68%. Compare that to the old iOS, where I drained the battery to 53% in just 45 minutes. Now remember, I downloaded the second update since Apple released iOS 11 in September. Apple has likely fixed any bugs as they roll out new and improved versions of the operating system. So at least for me, the battery life is all good. In Dallas, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News.